What's going on guys? Today we're going to talk about the glute meat or glute specific training. Now oftentimes what I see is sort of a misconception of how we actually use our glutes. So when we want to talk functional training, the main function of a human being is to walk. Bipedal ambulation, just being able to put one foot in front of the other. So the glute functions as a stabilizer, right? So like we talked before in past videos, how the progression of stability exercises is never weight unless that weight is adding an element of instability. So oftentimes the glute exercises I see specific to the glute meat um, has us lifting the leg off the floor, whether it be monster, monster walks with a band or side-lying abduction work. It always uh, unloads the leg of the hip we're trying to use. But think about how we walk, right? So the function of walking. When I take this step forward, it's not this leg glute that's working, right? It's not the foot that's in the air that's connected to that glute. It's not this glute me that has to laterally stabilize. It's this one. Foot's on the ground. That has to laterally stabilize my pelvis. That's how that glute me works. So a lot of rehab exercises are based off of surface EMG. So how much electrical activity an electrode can read. And from there, a false equivalency has been made of, okay, more EMG activation equals more motor unit improvement, which isn't the case. So what I want you to think of is this idea of dynamic correspondence. How is this going to transfer over into my lifts? If I'm a power lifter, if I'm a crossfitter, if I'm an Olympic lifter and I'm working on my glutes, when you're lifting, and that's the whole reason for you to address your glutes in the first place, your feet are planted securely on the floor. So think about when we're squatting, how we use our glutes, right? They're going to externally rotate and abduct as we lower down. So we're just going to lower down into the squat. So at no point during a squat is my leg ever doing this. If you find yourself needing your glute meat in this way, unloaded abduction of the hip, the squat has gone very wrong. So with that in mind, we want to train the glute with the foot on the floor, right? So that's gonna be the dynamic correspondence. We squat with both feet on the floor, hopefully we can train our glutes with the feet on the floor. So if the glute meat is an abductor of the hip, so to move away from midline, we wanna create relative abduction of the hip, right? So abduction looks like this. If I tell anyone who knows this movement, hey, abduct your hip, this is what they're gonna do. But there's relative abduction. So abduction of the hip relative to the torso. So standing up straight, this is adduction, my hip is relatively towards the midline of my body, and this is abduction. So basically what I want you to do is sort of employ this tactic through a lunge. So what we're gonna do, sink low down into a lunge. Now in this position as we come through, we're thinking this is the stance leg, this is the swing leg. So as we come through, now I'm relatively adducted, right? My hip is out, we wanna abduct, use that glute, bring that pelvis right underneath, try and stay nice and stable, and then try and bring yourself kind of right into a sprinter stance. So, terminal extension of the knee, fully lock out that quad, flex the glute hard. Now from here, we can add one more element. So we're standing on a very limited basis support, one leg. So I know plenty of guys that can squat hundreds and hundreds of pounds, but they can't stand on one leg. So from here, we're trying to deviate our center of mass outside of our limited base of support. So think of like a bowling stance, where we get here, again, creating that relative abduction or adduction of the hip, stretching out that glute med, and now we're gonna control, bring back underneath, back into that sprinter stance, and we're gonna lunge forward into the next rep. And the same thing again, come up through that end range, terminal extension of the knee, flex the quad hard, pelvis stays underneath, hold here, deviate that center of gravity out, stretch into that glute med, back up, and then lunge into your next rep. So again, the perception of instability is the progression. Deviating your center of mass outside your base of support, not adding weight. So, you know, if you're doing monster walks or, or ad, sideline abduction thing, because the research said a surface EMG, that was a better exercise, you got to think dynamic correspondence, right? If this is going to be the thing that stops your SI joint from getting injured, stop your hip from being injured, you want to load it in a fashion that you're going to be using it during your main movement. So, Give that a try, let me know how it goes, we'll see you next time.